You're watching Chef Club. Step one today, we're gonna cut this onion in a zigzag shape all the way around, carefully, not to make too big of cuts, but deep enough so that they go at least to the center of the onion. So once you've made your last cut, we should be able to separate this onion in two. Let's just give it a try. After you've cut all your onions, we're gonna place them in flour and make sure they are nicely covered. Try and place them in a big bowl, that way you can fit them all in there. Shower them with the flour, just like that and we're gonna let them sit for at least about 30 minutes so the moisture of the onion can soak the flour in and it will be easier for our batter to stick on it. We take a beer, pop that baby open, just like that. Get some sparkling water, pour it in a bowl, and this is how we start our beer batter. Slowly include the cornstarch and mix as you go so you don't end up with big clumps. After that, we add some flour, slowly, salt, Garlic, onion powder, cayenne pepper, sugar, and you crack an egg right inside and mix that well. So now that we've finished our beer batter mixture, we bring it right over here. And after our onions have been sitting in the flour, we drop them right in here, let them soak. Make sure that they're covered as well all the way. So you flip them. Take your onion, bring it to your hot oil, and drop it in slowly. One side first, let that cook, and we'll flip it. Now we want to let the bottom part fry first, that way the points don't get burned on you when you flip it over. If it lasts too long the other way around, since they are finer, they will burn at the top too much. Now that we have this beautiful golden color all the way around, we take it out, set it on a cooling rack. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful golden color all the way. 
let it cool just a little bit. Once you've taken out your last one, get a little olive oil. Make sure the pan is hot. Get your veggies, red, green, and yellow bell peppers. Let them cook down just a little so they soften up. And in the meantime, get our smoky sausages ready. And we throw them in the pan along with the veggies. Mix it up, get a little salt, and just let it cook down. While we wait for this to finish, in about two to three minutes, we pass on to our next step, a little more beer. Pour it in there. And what we're gonna be making is a cheese sauce. Little flour, mix that in there. And little by little, we pour in our cheese, handful at a time, so it doesn't get too clumpy and it's easier to melt. By the time we're done with this, our veggies and our sausage should be ready. If needed, you can always add a tiny bit more of beer to it. Once we have our cheese at the consistency we want, which is about that, right there, just bring it down to low so that it stays warm and doesn't harden up. Our onions are ready, our veggies and our sausage is ready. We have our chips, so now we build it. 